Welcome back to TNG Sports. We have a very, very special guest right now. And Van, I'm going to let you do the honors. Yeah, what we have here uh, is a football legend. We have a, a legend in his time, an LSU <laughs> legend. Don't, a, a Bayou boy, not just because he went to LSU, but because he's actually from New Orleans. We got Duke Riley, former LSU Tiger, current Atlanta Falcon, <laughs> NFL star, probably future Hall of Famer in the NFL. I'm going to go ahead and I say it right it. now. I love it. Predicting it right here, right now. Duke, <laughs> what's popping with you, bro? How you doing, man? Man, I appreciate y'all having me out, man. I'm having a good time out here in L.A. Um, have you ever had a better introduction on a show than right there? I right have there, right not. There? I have not. You know, I appreciate good, right? that. You know, he must be really biased with LSU guys. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, look, man, we're so glad to have you here, man. It's it's great. You know, you guys are uh, taking some time off before training camp starts. So you and the team, they're getting ready for the season. Us, the fans, are getting ready for the fantasy football side <laughs> of things. Our drafts are coming up. We're going to be here before we know it. We got Rich Eisen now, right? Rich Eisen from the NFL Network. You know, he's a great guy. He knows a lot about sports, obviously. And we asked him, look, man, give us some advice. Who is the dark horse? horse pick this year in a draft that we got to know about the deep cut that will help us win our fantasy leagues and this is what Rich Eisen had to say take a look if I had to name an underrated fantasy player yes underrated fantasy player the one that's going to be totally under the radar this year's Alvin Kamara I like Darius guys to the Washington Redskins I okay like him a hell of a lot I don't know why I just feel it I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to use Deshaun this. Deshaun Watson's going to kill it. Deshaun Watson's going to kill it. I can't wait to see him. Yeah, all right. So you got wow. Rich Eisen calling out your boy, Darius Geis. You got another LSU guy. You guys played together. Does this surprise you? Well, tell us what your thoughts are on this one. No, I think he's a smart man with that pick. Um, me knowing Geis. I've trained with Geis. I've worked out with Geis. I've practiced against Geis. I played with guys. You're I mean, have to play against guys. Want to have to play against guys? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like man, I, I just know the work ethic that that he puts, that he has, and the work that he puts in, man, is second to none. I mean, he's gonna be a problem. He's gonna be a problem. Brings me to my next question for both you guys. I want you both to answer the question. Duke, okay. you gotta go first. You're in the hot seat. All right. You gotta pick in, the, in, in your fantasy league. Who do you take first with your first fantasy pick? Do you take Leonard Fournette or your boy Darius Guy? Which one? Uh, just be, I'm gonna just, I'm just, I'm just take uh, Leonard because he has the experience already. Right, right. You know that's okay. why I'm gonna take Leonard. I'm gonna choose Darius Geis because he is from Baton Rouge. Is there okay. a Baton Rouge New Orleans like no, rivalry? No, no, there's not a rivalry. I'm just no, no, there's, there's none of that. There's none of that. I have a question for you. You're a linebacker. You gonna have a big year this year. Right. Coming through that hole, coming at you. Who would you rather tackle? Mm. Darius Geis. Oh, that's a great Leonard question. Fournette. I, well, we played uh, Leonard in the preseason, and we played Geis in the regular season, so I'm going to have to tackle both of them. So it really don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter who coming through the hole. I just got to get it down. Uh, you know, yeah. I love it. Speaking of Leonard Fournette, you had an event with him just now. You guys had a camp together, right? Oh, yes, sir. I went to um, – actually, I went to his camp that was, that he held in the um, Saints practice facility, and he actually came to my camp that I had last week. So we've been doing a lot of stuff this, together this summer. We had a lot of guys out there supporting us. Um, it was just a really, really great turnout. For the morning group, the 6 through 13-year-olds, we had um, 150 kids show up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was dope. You're actually, uh, you got another fundraising thing coming up, a fundraising challenge where you're going to be competing against an NFL player to be named later. Mm. But tell us about this fundraising challenge and what it's, uh, who, and what you're raising money for. So um, basically, we're going to just be competing against uh, each other to raise money for a charity. Um, you can pick whichever charity you want. Right. The charity I chose was my sister's house. Right. Right. The reason because the reason I chose it because it's a, a shelter for women and children and me being a son and having a mother that I truly love. I hate to see kids and women just out there homeless. So I mean that's that's why I chose that. And um, the person that I'm going to be choosing, um, I haven't decided yet. It's in the making. You you guys will find out. I have a website on my page, on my social media platforms that you guys can go look at. And um, that's cool. Yeah, man. So it's gonna be a competition to raise money. Oh, yeah. You guys using your celebrity for good to try to raise yeah, money man, to help people awesome. in need. That's a great thing. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great deal. A, a charity like My Sister's House is very, very important because a lot of times women that are in abusive relationships Facts. or they don't feel like they have anywhere to go, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. to escape those things. So you really need those charities for the mother and the kids to have a safe place to go. Having said that, it's all about LSU with me. <laughs> Whatever you need, I'm going to be right there for you, brother. I pre we appreciate the, oh, yeah. the work yeah, you're doing yeah. out there in the Dude, community. thank yeah, you sure. for stopping by, man. It's great having you here. Uh, have fun with your Los Angeles. Good luck with training camp. And try to stay cool out in, in Atlanta, man. I know it's crazy out there. Oh, I appreciate it, man.
Go Birds. <laughs> If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.